Hi everybody, I'm back from getting a pedicure at Zorba. The Zorba the Geek eyebrows are gone. Ah, ah, victory is mine, victory is mine. Yes, I fixed that. Uh, here goes the tripod. I'm telling you, this tripod's going to make me nuts. I've got to remember it all in a while. Um, it, it, I was suspicious that it was the hard drive. And it finally got where it just wouldn't spin. And I took it out and put it in one of my external cases. Dead. So, went to Best Buy, bought a new hard drive. The man eater is fixed. I left it processing all night. Not quick. Um, Tanya, I get like, you know, off balanced when there's three computers broken. Got the laptop, it's good. Um, the next one is next on the list. Um, I kind of figure them out as I go. Um, because, I mean, you know, the laptop was the lowest on the list and it got fixed the first. I don't know. But, I'm happy. Uh, I just, you know, I guess with computers being such a big part of my life, um, it, it, it tilt. I kind of go on tilt. But, so far, so good. Not good. Well, happy fall, everybody. I mean, it sounds strange because it's like, I think when I went out, it was 86. And I didn't go out at dawn, but I mean, I didn't go out that late. It was 83, and it's like. So, now, because I'm excited to make like that spiced apple, apple cider like I made last year that was so good. I ended up making all of it into that. And we drank it all. Um, and, you know, love my Mexican chocolate. Some people call it Aztec chocolate now. Like, you know, that makes it sound better. I don't know. It's Mexican chocolate. It's what it's been for years. So, or Aztec. But, you know, have you noticed, like, cold fronts now are not cold fronts. It's the vol the polar vortex. And it's like, okay, okay. So we have to learn their ter terminology now so that, I don't know, we sound smarter. Well, anyway, I'm going to, um, I don't think I put in the comments, but the John Wayne casserole was too doughy for me. So I would make it exactly the way I made it again, but with only one cup of Bisquick. Then I, because it kind of like turned into this like deep dish Mexican pizza. So if you like that, but I'm not, I'm not into carbs as much as most people think I am. I'm just not a big bread freak. Um, I can make a sandwich real easy without bread. Um, but having some allergy problems, um, I thought the pharmacist was not going to be able to get it out of her mouth when she called to tell me that, you know, now remember, big allergy seasons normally are spring and fall, well, we're supposedly in fall, <laughs> and she called to say that my nasal next they could get it in around the middle of December. So I told her to call the doctor and get the Flonase reinstated. And she said, no, you actually still have a refill. So it, if used for any duration, it tends to give me bloody noses. That's why I use nasal next. Let's see. So... I mean, the casserole was by far not a disaster. I had people over the next day, they came over at lunchtime, so I fed them some, and they loved it. My son loved it. So, it was just too doughy for me. Um, so, tonight I'm making SOS. And if you've been associated with any military men, then you know what the S 
of the SOS meets. Um, I can politely start out in the comments if you don't get what I'm talking about, but you will. Um, I don't like mine over toast. Traditionally, it's served with toast. I'm going to make some of those loaded potatoes and throw it over that and open up a can of green beans. I find that I have uh, 10 cans of green beans, so we're eating canned green beans. Um, surprisingly, I only ended up throwing two cans of beans away. I'm good on everything else. I've checked and I made a short kind of list like I want to get some, you know, canned milk in because I, oh, when I had to put that dry milk in my coffee, oh god it was bad. It was almost as bad as the spoiled milk. So I'm going to just get some evaporative canned milk in. Not the sweetened stuff, just the regular stuff. So I'm making that tonight because when I was walk, I had to go get coffee yesterday at Walmart. And you know how men will tip their caps? A man did that to me and I just about cried all through Walmart because we, you know, just lost Gramps a couple years ago. Um, my ex-father-in-law, which was like the only father I had in my adult life uh, meant the world to me and this was one of his favorite meals even though they complain about it when they're in the military so oh sorry I thought there was a malfunction um, so I'm going to make that tonight and with canned green beans I need to I mean I, I need to eat some canned green beans um, I don't really like canned vegetables but it will work. And I'm also going to show you I, the Anastasi beans. On, I'm going to start them soaking. So I'll show you what I guess how I put them in a pot and put water on them. Uh, I traditionally make them with um, a you know, jar of, like this of salsa medium. And a bunch of, I still have some cubed up ham that I'll throw in there with an onion. And I eat it with cornbread, which I think I have, and I have to use that. Um, or I love to fry up potatoes and eat them with potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but I don't know. See, you know, I come from, you know, people that lived like my grandmother and my uncle junior and stuff well they all lived in Louisiana at one time so you know beans and rice and stuff but I don't eat rice because they fed me way too much rice I was begging for potatoes when I was growing up um, and I don't like things like black eyed peas and red beans uh, <laughs> even though I love beans um, see so oh I want to give two shout outs just because I think I I think the ladies I would love to give them shout outs one's to Becky which is Bronson Hill 100 I think the correct her, correct names I'll put across and the links down below and then Diana J I don't think I've given her a shout out yet um, I have to go back and watch because I just watched Kathy A's um, Elf Hall and she said that she had watched yours so I'm going to watch yours. Uh, Walmart where I go shopping is like Elf Haven. They have so much Elf I don't even know what to buy. Um, so thanks Kathy and I'm going to watch Diana J. So I'll put Becky and Diana's um, links um, down below. Um, oh. So, you know, Janice is still, several people are under the weather. You know, Janice, don't go out in public. Jeremy people out there to your resistance is back up. Send Lynn. Send Lynn. Um, and Susan W. <laughs> 
what did you girl do girl just call Sephora and say oh hi Sephora just send me the whole store <laughs> it's like your Christmas previews just like I'm going like oh, wow wow but I did love those Marc Jacob lipsticks but like I said, Sofia Coppola is like, if I have a cult film, it was made by her. It's The Virgin Suicides. And um, I saw a documentary on her, and she's really a dynamic person. One thing I didn't know, <coughs> I need that nasal next that they can get in December. is that um, Sofia Coppola was the daughter of, um, what's the guy's name? Oh God, it's like almost sacrilegious. I can't remember the guy's name, the godfather. Oh my God, I can't. Well anyway, it was his daughter in the third, third movie. God, I can't remember his name. Well, anyway, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to be making SOS and soaking some beans, and I'll take you along on that. Um, I'm just happy the computers, two of the three, are fixed. I feel pretty good about the third one, so... Um, because I've been like just ready to, I mean, when Susan said it looked like I was going to throw the casserole out the door, you called out one, right, Susan? <laughs> I was just like, but it is, it's death by sour cream and cheese, man. Whoa. Um, so I don't know. So things are straightening out a little, but I mean, it has been nervous wreck time for me, period. I think we all just go through times like that. And, um, you know, and I, I don't want to fall here. I want to burn my pumpkin candle. Right now, I wouldn't want to heat the house up. It's like, no, don't light that candle. <laughs> and I want to make cider, you know, and like, have cold hands where you hold it and you go because it's hot and you drink it you go oh that's so so warm no it's like I just want to drink ice water right now so I'm waiting for fall to come it's got to come oh we are going to the great grandma's because I've decided to ask her for more beans um I don't know why I only took that jar. She's asked me several times about it. But it's the children's father, my children's father's birthday, and um, we will be going down to celebrate it with him. We'll probably be gone about three days. So the great grandma, AKA Anita, is in seventh heaven that we're coming down. Seventh heaven. She is so happy. She's going to send invitations to us, even though we will be leaving probably in about eight days. So I said, cool, if you want to send invitations. Oh, talk about that. Oh, I found my stack of mail. I still have not mailed. Now it's beyond embarrassing, some of the stuff I bought. And I've added to it. So I've got to donate a day to that and a day to... I'm going to incorporate my um, uh, day date book into my journal I write. And I'm going to do uh, um, for events and stuff, I'm going to turn it into what is now commonly known as bullet point journaling. So I'm incorporating the two together. And Joan, I need some washi tape if you happen to have a roll. <laughs> It's like, Joan, I swear when I watch you, sometimes I want to go, have you considered calling Washi Tape Anonymous? Because it's like, girl, 
I know it's cute, but how much washi tape can one human being use? <laughs> That's just for fun. So anyway, I'm going to like start my SOS and we'll see what happens. Brain dead. Brain dead. Brain dead. <laughs> so, I love the sound of them, but see how they're, I need to turn on the oven light, I mean the stove light. See how they're like, well they kind of look like a pinto bean and a, a like a navy bean to me. Somebody said like a pinto bean and a lima bean, but they don't, no, they're not lima beans, I hate them. So I just decide how much am I making? So, it's about, I don't know, a third of it. Um, these freeze work really well. So, I'll just cover them with water, put the lid on them, and I let them soak overnight. I normally always say I'm going to leave them out because they, they shouldn't go bad, but I'm always worried about that. So. I've had food poisoning several times. <laughs> I always worry about it because there's nothing better than food poisoning. Um, and then I'm going to start the SOS. Um, so I need to. <gasps> I hope I took a hamburger out of the fridge. Oh, I had a horrible coffee incident this morning. Well, yep. Non frozen hamper. And let's see. So I'm going to, like I said, I just cover them with water with a little bit more because, you know, the, the object is putting them in water is to rehydrate them. So, and I don't know. I'll find, it should be interesting to find out how many beans the great grandma bought. <laughs> She's too fun. Well, you know, she has, and, and she'll be the first to tell you, she has very much what is known as a depression mentality about food. Um, her, both her and my ex-father-in-law, Ernie, they both had it. So that's why I said, you know, she'll say, I bought 20 pounds of beans, but forget to tell you, oh, that was 10 sacks of it, <laughs> which is could be the likely. Last time she gave me 20 pounds, she bought 80 pounds for them. And it took years to use 80 pounds of beans. So she, had, she was giving them away to everybody and like she called and said, hey, do you need any? And it's like, no, you gave me 20 pounds. I've been giving them away. <laughs> so, let me get to cooking. <laughs> trying to clean the kitchen. Um, so anyway, the handbook, where's the light? I installed the light myself. I think I could remember to use it. Um, oh, it's, it's got a uh, sensor thing. Let me pick it up one. So, I'm frying this, and I'm going to drain, drain this, because I just want a little bit of grease. I think half of the time, because I buy cheap hamburger, it's not grease, but water and grease. Because, you know, I need to have something, I need to have some of the grease to you know, make a roux out of. Oh, boy, this is confusing. I'm confusing myself. Uh, oh, and I just use, what, blender? Um, I don't really keep flour in the house, because why would I do that? I don't bake. I mean, I think the, the last flour in this house was like five years ago, real flour. So let me drain this, and I'll show you about the... I don't know how I'm going to show you, but I'll try so to. So that's where it gets tricky because I can't really show you. But I put flour in there and I'm like browning it. I don't make it in a separate 
the roof in a separate thing. I just do it in the same skillet. So I'm going to be putting some milk in here and cooking it till it thickens. And then, um, so I gotta go. So the gravy's done, came out good, and have the mashed potatoes going. And I know that I said I was gonna eat canned, but I can't. I think canned green beans are for emergency. I don't like canned vegetables. But they say if you are going to put some food back, you have to remember your fruits and vegetables. So you have to buy canned fruit, canned vegetables. And if you want to know where I got this all, just go to the FEMA and they'll tell you what to buy. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'll be back. My hair is still itching. I fell asleep with my hair up. That's why it's kind of like wavy. Um, Danny's coming over to me. <laughs> we went to a cocktail party last night. and He said, what's for dinner? I told him, SOS. Except I used the real words. And he went, oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, he'll like it. Um, I don't know. See, I'm just trying to cook different stuff. I mean, if you... Yeah, I mean... I mean you know, give me advice. Oh, and what, I also have that, that, um, <sighs> telling you I'm twisted sisters. Um, uh, tomato I have to use, the Romana tomato. So I'll throw that into sliced tomatoes for dinner. It should be great. Well, I love you guys. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, when you subscribe, I always check out your channels. Um, I think that's how I found Becky. Um, uh, and I will subscribe if I like your channel. Um, it's just the way I am. But the more channels, the merrier. If I could stay all day watching YouTube in bed, I would. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.